We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals baseball is straight ahead next on the show. Wainwright will do the pitching in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for the Yankees, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. First offering on its way. There's a swing and a high pop up. Wong is in his tracks now and very quickly one gone. Static second to right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. What a powerhouse season in the top 10 in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. First pitch coming. Here it is. Count one and, oh. and fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And this might be the kind of A-B that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. A ball and no strikes. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. The 1 0. Heading out towards shallow right. Bader in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. He enters this one second in the American League in round trippers. You know, D, we're worried that the summer right now, this guy's power has been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the stretch. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. He set the 0 1. Judge at second with two down. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for the Yankees, and now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. James Paxton, a left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Colton Wong will stand in. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. In there, 0 and 1. 
And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Batting second, not shortstop, Tommy Edmund. Now at the play, Tommy Edmund. Here comes the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it though, Dan. You want to go east west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north south that'll kill you. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Lifted into the air to shallow center. LeMahieu backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. So stepping in, Paul Goldschmidt, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. and That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Two out, nobody on. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Goldschmidt swings and hits this one very well out to deep left field. And that's off the left field wall. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball. Doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting to coast into second base. Here's Matt Carpenter. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead and they've got one here. Back to back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. Here's the catcher Yadier Molina as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 that batting average hovering in the high 230s five homers and he's driven in 24 the 0 1 offering uh, offered it a low one there but came up empty make a good pitch right here and get your offense back in the dugout after only giving up one run two out here and a runner at second. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. The set 
And the one-two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. He started this guy backwards. Couple of off-speed pitches early. Followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Line to the right side. But foul. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Payoff pitch on its way. Ripped down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. Hey, d they're that off to a good. nice 2 nothing lead right here. Now I think it's time to keep the pressure on and try to add on. Yeah, this guy's a quality pitcher, and you know at any moment he gets into a rhythm, he can rattle off some donuts up there. So this is a nice job by the offense, but not done yet. Standing in now, Tyler O'Neill, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in a game and then mount a comeback. Paxton comes set. 0-1 pitch on its way. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Paxton... Also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, 3-2. and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Cardinals are out in front, two to nothing. Now to the plate, Mike Talkman. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at-bat. And now a swing and a miss. And that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. And he misses with it one and one. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Wainwright ready, the 1-1. One, one. Nope, at the ball. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Pitch on the way. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. We'll check in with an average still south of 230. Seven homers and 34 driven in. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0 -oh on the way. Outside, 3-0 oh now. 
this inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound but here on 3-0 you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track from the stretch and he misses there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out always tough to issue a free pass but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning we'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this digging in now Luke Voigt and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out well early in the count expect him to look for a ball to drive if he gets two strikes against him he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up this game is too close to get greedy first pitch coming from Wainwright curveball just misses apparently one and oh Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. That one's in there, three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. So striding in, Kyle Higashioka, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Too low, 1-0. Higashioka. A six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Tight spot, bases loaded, nobody out. Drill down the line, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Nope. <laughs> yep. Yes, he can. A swing and a miss, and that's a big out number one. At the plate, James Paxton is trying to at least tie this one up here, if not bring home a couple and take over the lead here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. This is a situation where you have to step out of the box and tell yourself, my job is to get the runner in from third. It'd be nice to gap one and get them both in. But you want to take a little pressure off you offensively and just focus on being productive. The 1-1 one, one pitch. You put yourself in this situation, you got to get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2 0 count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. That's ball. Too high that time, and it's 3 and 1. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 3 1. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. Now a 
check swing and he went around says the home plate umpire no appeal needed and there are two away now I know he struck out there but for a pitcher that's a pretty solid at bat anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches that's a quality AB in my book so the bases are loaded here two men gone and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel Andujar. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit on the ground to first. Is he going to get out of this? He is as he gets the three unassisted put out, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We've got more on this Sunday night after this. Into the box, Lane Thomas. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Thomas, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was a fifth round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Now the 2-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Batting it. The right field. Harrison. Bader. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. Now here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Now here it comes. Ball. One ball, two strikes. And he chased it in the dirt. Higashioka recovers. And he makes the throw to first. Bader is retired. Two down now. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher. Adam Wainwright as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Paxton peers in. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Two balls and a strike. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here's the pitch. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. Top 
for the third set to get underway. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. The 1 0 home. Count now a ball and a strike. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Here's the pitch. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it to the plate now Torres As he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one 0 for one here in the early going now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike bases are empty one man out And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Solo shot to right center, number 22 on the year, and the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2-1 ball game. There's an old saying in the game. They say solo homers won't kill you. This might be a good time for a mound visit right here. Try and erase those negative thoughts and get right back in the zone. You still have the lead. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And he takes ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 1-0. Oh, that's out. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. line that's a base hit now that the center field Mike Coffin. stepping in now Mike Talkman as he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees it's strike one one for one after a single his first time up Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. Now back, second base. DJ Levin. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. in the air down the right field line 
But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. The 2-1 and one on its way. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Now batter, the first base. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. In now, Luke Voigt. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Racing back the left fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. So a three-run shot to left center. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Now that Into the box now, Kyle Higashioka. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-0. Ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Still only one out in the inning. Swing and a little blooper to center. Thomas is on the run for it, but he won't get there. It falls in. Yeah, Matt, and I'm not sure how much longer they can leave him out there. Not only is he hurting the team, it's probably doing some damage to his psyche as well. Blake now James Paxton and they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. Here's Miguel Andujar now 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch on its way. This is in the air out to right. Bader is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Nine men come to the plate, however, five of them score. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Yankees five and the Cardinals two. We're just about set to go here as the Cardinals come to bat in the third inning. St. Louis fans have been fortunate to watch one of the best offenses around this season. And one significant aspect of their offense is the running game, where they currently rank among the league leaders in stolen bases and stolen base success rate. I brought this up with some of the players earlier, and one of the pitchers told me, one, it's fun to watch, and two, I'm glad I'm not responsible for defending against it. Our guys will pick you apart if you're not smart. It's an athletic bunch, and they use it effectively, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Go there. Four. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Colton Wong is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. The wind up and the 0 1. Runs up and gets this one down. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. Now here's the pitch. One ball, two strikes, you count. Misses, ball two. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Tommy Edmond will be next. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by. Brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. So now to the plate, Tommy Edmond. This will take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Ready for another chance. Paul Goldschmidt. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Cool, that's inside. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He told me it feels like every ball they've put in play has been a laser, and the numbers back that up. Six of their hits have come off the bat at 90 miles an hour or harder, guys. All right. Thanks, Heidi. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Here comes the first pitch. In there, strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Judge is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. 
These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. Line to the right side, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, pitching poorly once like he did in his last start, it's going to happen here or there, but he's struggling here again, too, and there has to be some concern, and part of it is probably psychological. He's got to get those here-we-go-again thoughts out of his head. To the plate now, Torres. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. The 1-1. One, one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2-1. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Fourth inning here, already a 5-2 score. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 and two now. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. He's set. Here's the three and two. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone just flat out froze him there nothing too deceptive about that four seam now fastball so I think he wasn't expecting it at all standing in now Giancarlo Stanton as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one he's working on a one for two game so far Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The 1-2. Back up the middle. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Tyler Webb answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Tyler. Into the box, Mike Talkman. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. With runners in scoring position this season, Talkman hits a little over the 270 mark. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The 2 1 home. Down to 3 1. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. 
Five runs, ten hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Swing and a liner. So well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Settling in now, DJ LeMayhew. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Five runs, 10 hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player after coming off a curveball the old push the throttle and pull it is being used one and two to DJ LeMayhew. Hey this is a big pitch right here can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. A shot down the first baseline. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that's going to be high two and two now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Here now the 2 2. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So a good bounce back inning here after the five run outburst last time around. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Yankees five and the Cardinals two. Bottom of the inning now and set to go is the third baseman Matt Carpenter. The third baseman Matt Carpenter. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Ball in track. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And a fastball in there for a strike, 1 and 1. And he pumps the fastball by him here, 1 and 2 now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Stanton, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. The catcher number four. Yadia. So the leadoff man retired here. That'll bring up Yadier Molina. First offering on its way. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, that was eight straight up until that base hit right there. Let's see if the offense gets something rolling now. Tyler. Oh, here. In now, Tyler O'Neill. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing 2 and 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. The 2-0. -oh. 
too tight with that one. 3-0. and Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. As a look, now the pitch. 3-1. Hey. Three and one. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now in the box, Lane Thomas. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here comes the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is on his horse. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. So runners at the corners with two gone. And into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. Before the first pitch, a check at first. Don't want to forget about it. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Runners on first and third, two away. I had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Paxton comes set. Here comes the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two and two. Two and two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs. So getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full count. Got him looking. And that'll do it. The inning is over. Cards strand a couple. And the deficit remains 5-2. to two. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Now the pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. A oh. couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1-0. Yeah. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Going to even up the count at two and two. And now a pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. Ground ball foul down the left side. Two two one more time. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher, but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. The three two pitch. 
He spoils another one and will do it again. The 3 2 one more time. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Stepping up now to the back. plate, Kyle Higashioka. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. He's set. Here it comes. And that misses for ball one. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball. One and one. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to 2 and 2 now on the Yankee catcher. This misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. O'Neill is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Up next for the Yankees. The pitcher, James Paxton. Now at the plate, James Paxton. He laid down a sacrifice bunt in his last trip. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. The Yankee pitcher at the plate with a one and one count. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. The 2 1 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They're still out in front, 5 to 2. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going Your forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And here's a fastball called for strike one. He'll step in here at 275. One home run, 10 RBIs. The 0 1 on its way. In there, and it's 0 2 now. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Popped him up. Pagashioka over to his right. Makes the play. One away. Now back. Second baseman. Go there. Four. 
Stepping in, Colton Wong. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering on its way. Count one and zero. Oh. The one zero oh is in off the plate. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two and one after the foul ball there. Hey. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. This pitch is popped up and Duhar shading to his right two down. Now batting. Not shortstop. Tommy. Edmund. Into the box now Tommy Edmund. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah Matty and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play. No balls and a strike to count. Paxton's ready. Here's the 0-1. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals. They trail 5 2. Number 62 will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 62. Top half of the sixth about to get started and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel and Duhar. And Duhar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right hander's up and warming. One and no pitch on the way. That's ball two. Two balls, no strike. And there's a swing and a miss, two and one now. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter's aboard to start the sixth. The right field, number 99, Aaron. Coming to the Judge. plate now, Aaron Judge. He's two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Takes this the other way to right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. Now batter, the shortstop, Labor Torres. Torres will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going.
Here comes the first pitch. Here comes the 0 1. Five two is our score here in inning number six. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Two and two count. Here it comes. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for a hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2 2. And he's able to find the knockout there. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. So far, two for three in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Fouled off. Runners are at first and second with one away. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The one two. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0 and 2 and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. At the plate now, Mike Talkman as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. At the Two and one. Three ball, one strike. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Hey, hey it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Two men are on with two men out. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We've got more on this Sunday night after this. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He'll get his side started in the inning. And Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. And now a pitch on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. A ball right. and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now the one and one pitch. You got two balls, one strike. Oh. 
Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. From the belt, kicks and deals. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. The 1-0 is taken for ball two. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and Outside, 3-0 and now. Waiting on deck, there's Yadi Molina. A runner at first with no outs here. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And that fastball is taken, but catches the outer third. Now the payoff pitch home. This one's down to third. LeMayhew for one. To Voight in time for the double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Digging in and looking for more, Yadier Molina. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's involved into a really, really nice offensive player. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Paxton steps into his windup. Here's the 1-0. Popped him up. Torres is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, 5-2. John Gant is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. In now, DJ LeMayhew, his career numbers against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First pitch coming, here it is. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball Fastball one. misses inside, it's even at 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Gant is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Grounded down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Now that is the first baseman. Luke four.
at the plate, Luke Voigt. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Comes set and the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Five two our score as we play inning number seven. To one and two now. Halfway to the plate this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. In the dirt and now let's see. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Count remains two and two. No one out with a runner at second. Now Voigt with a high fly ball out to deep left field. And that is off the wall. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now back. Now that's an ideal start to the inning right here. The leadoff man strokes a double, and the next guy comes up and swaps places with him, chasing his partner home. Could be a big inning. To the plate now, Kyle Higashioka. Skied into straightaway right. Bader moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. The bat, the pitcher, James Paxton. Gio Urshela will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Gio Urshela. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. But facing right handed pitching so far this season, Urshela brings in a batting average resting just under 320 and a look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. The 2 0 on the way. Fouled away. Urshela hits right handed pitching very well. Makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. You'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand eye coordination, Matt. He sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's not there to do major damage with, but could just drive it up the middle the oh, other way and take his knock, and that's what he's been able to do. Miguel. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. At the ball. Runners are at the corners with one man out. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Oh. 
Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he will make it back to third safely as he didn't have much of a chance at advancing that time. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And he takes this one high, 1 and 1. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Runners at second and third with two gone. Donnie extends nicely and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time Yankees strike for, the for the a run on the RBI double. double. Get up and stretch. Yeah. It's now 6-2 New York. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tommy Kingley. Now at the play, Tyler O'Neill. It was a walk in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Ball one, no strike. That evens it up, one and one. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting, the center fielder, Way Thomas. Ready once again, Lane Thomas. No hits to this point. From the stretch. One out. Bases are empty, one man out. Two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder. On he swings right through it there. Two and one. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. One out, nobody on. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. The 3-2 pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3-2. and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Judge is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the right fielder, Harris there. Bader. Standing in, Harrison Bader. 0 for 2 for him to this point.
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The 2 1 home. Misses above the zone for a ball. Two out, nobody on. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Paul DeYoung will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Paul DeYoung. And that one right down Main Street. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Throw over to first. Runner back standing. One and one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Now the one and one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals. They still trail here. It's six to two. John Brebbia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 60, John Brebbia. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up Labor Torres. The Labor Torres. Here comes the first pitch. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. In there, one and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. O'Neill is going to have room, however, as he makes the catch in deep left center field for the first out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. First offering on its way. Hits this one hard the other way. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive now, player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Mike. Into the box now, Mike Tuckman, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The 1 0 home.
Rebound. They'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Ooh, up and in. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Combio. Listen, now if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. In now, D.J. LeMayhew as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1 0 it is taken, strike one. A runner on first with two away. And that misses, two and one. From the belt, the pitch. O'Neill is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Yanks leave one. They lead it six to two. Your Zach Britton is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the, in the bottom North half North. of the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Colton Wong. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One one. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Now the 2 1 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. So now to the plate, Tommy Edmond. He swings and grounds it to short. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back, first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Striding in, Paul Goldschmidt. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. The 1 0 home. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. In for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Judge is going back. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And this will kick off the fence now up against the Cardinal bullpen. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter as he rips it on the ground to second. LeMayhew towards second. He's got it. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. Alex Reyes enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Alex Reyes. All set to start the ninth in this one. And next, the dangerous power threat, Luke Voigt. First pitch of the at bat. Hey! Reyes, a 25 year old, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. Popped him up. Molina moving to his left. One down. Now batting the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Digging in now for the Yankees, Kyle Higashioka. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And there's ball one. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left-hander has begun to get loose. One and two to the Yankees catcher. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bader will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead it six to two. Luis Sessa will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 85. Luis Sessa. Yachty Molina digging in now. So far, two for three in this one. The catcher, 
Yadier. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. One down. Now batter. The left fielder. Tyler. O'Neill. Stepping into the box, Tyler O'Neill. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Maddie, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. The 0 and 1 delivery. Ground ball foul down the left side. One out, nobody on. Hit in the air to right field. Judge is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. The center fielder, number 35, Ray Thomas. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Lane Thomas. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Count one and oh. Ready with the one oh pitch. Ball, out. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen the fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 2 1. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Now, this will rattle up against the wall. And he is into third with a two out triple. Of course, they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers think. Like he's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. It was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. New York led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. James Paxton earns his fifth winner of the year. Adam Wainwright couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.